I'm Carol Bender, the founder and nurse practitioner of Joy Wellness Partners and Alive in Aesthetics. And I'm here with my colleague and dear friend, Dr. Michael Meng. Hello. He's a certified musculoskeletal ultrasonologist and a chiropractor and a nurse and working on his anti-aging and functional medicine fellowship and nurse practitioner degree as uh, he works here at the clinic. He's been here for almost two years as of uh, the summer of 2022 and we just wanted to kind of have a little chat about what is regenerative medicine here at Joy Wellness Partners and we can kind of start that with the most common questions people ask. How can you help my pain? So yeah, can you share? It's a, it's a great question. So at Joy Wellness Partners, we believe in the healing power of the body. We believe that the body is a self-healing organism and that sometimes it needs a little help. Uh, sometimes it's a little guidance, but we do believe that uh, if you if you treat the body right, if you get the body in the right conditions, um, the body can take care of most of uh, what's in front of it. Mm -hmm. what, are, what are your thoughts, Carol? Yeah, so I really see that when patients come to us, they are looking for a natural solution and they are looking to heal without having a lot of side effects and a lot of uh, invasion, invasive procedures. So they're trying to avoid surgery, basically. And uh, a lot of times patients will say, why do you guys need to do an ultrasound or why an ultrasound and maybe I should go get an MRI first is a lot of times they ask. And I say, honestly, you don't really need an MRI if you can get an ultrasound in most cases. So mm -hmm. Dr. Meng has spent many years doing ultrasound and he can really answer that question as to why an ultrasound. Sure. So ultrasound um, has a couple of advantages over MRI. One thing is it's dynamic. So let's just say hypothetically, you know, hey, my knee hurts when I squat. Well, we can actually watch what happens when you squat. Say, I feel a pop when I get out of bed in the morning. We can simulate that circumstance and actually see what's popping. For most intents and purposes, the ultrasound for superficial structures is just as space effective, actually more spatial resolution than an MRI. So uh, ultrasound like MRI, as you go in deeper and deeper into the body, does have its weaknesses as well. But ultrasound is, uh, for most things, is just as good as MRI and sometimes superior. Ultra, ultrasound is done by your practitioner. So if you come to Joy Wellness Partners, the practitioners actually do the ultrasound together. So you're interacting during mm -hmm, the exam. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the probe on the exam. You know, this is what I feel. This is what's going on, doc. This is what happens. And then we watch it happen. Often when you go get an MRI, it's ordered by one practitioner. A different practitioner reads it. A period of time goes by, mm -hmm. you come back in for interpretations, and essentially they just read what's on the piece of paper. You know, there was actually an interesting study that just came out in the, the journal of uh, um, BMC, which is the British Medical Journal, actually said that ultrasound was superior for almost every condition, um, mostly because the person performing the ultrasound was actually the doctor that was seeing the patient. Wow. That's a really cool perspective and we really like to be personal with our patients so that just goes to support that experience you're going to have when you come here. So a lot of patients will also ask me because they're trying to shop around and make sure this is the right decision that they come here. They'll say, how do I know if I will just heal on my own? Maybe I don't need to come in. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a good question. So the healing cascade of the body, uh, as, as we've learned, is, is roughly three months, mm -hmm. give or take. Everybody's going to be a little bit different. So if something's been bugging you for about three months, it's a very, very strong probability that it's not going to go away. So, gotcha. Actually, if you, if you know something is ailing you, if, if you have an injury, if something has happened and you, you feel something has mm -hmm. happened, if you feel a pop or you feel like you've hurt yourself, it's a very good idea to get it evaluated because, you know, uh, an old colleague, Dr. Tierney, used to say, don't let your problems become old problems. Mm -hmm. um, three months is a, is a great landmark to know if something's going to go away or not. But if you've actually injured something, mm -hmm. a lot can be done to accelerate that healing. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I think that the body will be in a healing state hmm. when it's a newer injury. The faster you get to a healing state, the faster it resolves. Cool. That's correct. And what's the difference between symptom care and regenerative care? Sure. You know. So, so one of the biggest things in, in Western medicine, predominantly, and this is not to pick on Western medicine, but mm -hmm. we're you know it's predominantly symptom care. So you know you go to the doctor, my stomach hurts. They give you something to make your stomach feel better. In regenerative care, functional care, you know, we look kind of like maybe why is your mm -hmm. stomach hurting? Mm -hmm. What's the underlying cause of your stomach? Often it's what in your lifestyle or what's happened in your life that's caused you to get to this point that your mm -hmm. stomach hurts. There's often an answer. Yeah. Um, so instead of just treating with medications that treat the pain or, or treat the symptom, 
we try to eliminate you know why the symptoms there in the first place to correct it. Uh, unfortunately, most medications, if not all medications, have side effects. Mm -hmm. So you can take something to treat your pain. Maybe your pain's better, but you've just created a different problem. If we can get to the heart of the problem, get to the root of the problem, and actually address that, and sometimes it's painful. Sometimes you have to like change your lifestyle. But mm -hmm. if you can actually get to the the heart of the problem, you're in a much better place. And I think that's one of the inspirations as to why we started doing the work that we're doing. Because when we originally were, when I was originally working in the emergency room, and the best answer was a toradol shot or a cortisone shot. It didn't provide long-term relief, and I even heard of some stories of patients really getting some long-term side effects like hip replacements because of the cortisone that damaged their hip joint. So I saw that regenerative medicine was an option that provided really only benefit, and at worst case, it didn't harm the patient. If mm -hmm. they didn't get fully better, they would at least notice some pain reduction, and then we continue to work in a positive, forward, progressive moving closer to the target direction. So that's one thing that I'm really inspired by, the teamwork we have at, at Joy Wellness Partners in the regenerative medicine department. Finally, as patients think maybe this is too good to be true, they want to know, you know, how do I know this is going to work for me? Dr. Ming? Well, the truth is uh, you have to have belief in yourself. So most healing comes from fear of self. Healing comes from the inside out. Someone can help propagate that. I've heard people say 90% of healing comes from the from the person, 10% comes from the doctor. I think that estimate's actually a little low. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's more like 98% comes from the person, 2% wow. from the outside. And sometimes guidance is required, but we know that the body is a, is a healing organism. Mm -hmm. The body can take care of itself given the right environment, the right mm -hmm. situation. So how confident am I? I'm extremely confident. Do we always get the best results? Well, no, but maybe we don't always get to the, uh, the exact bottom of the problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we plant the seeds and your body does the work to make it all grow and make it heal. So we're honored to be in your team, in your corner, and if you're interested in looking more into regenerative medicine, you can always reach out to us. If you have something that's been nagging you or some new injury, we are eager to help you to find the answers you're looking for and give you some options. And if it's surgery, we'll tell you if we believe that it's beyond the scope of injection-based regenerative medicine. Absolutely. Well, thank you.